has 10 cops chasing me on my granny. On my granny. It's 10 cops chasing me. Granny's turning in her grave. It's over. It's over, bro. <laughs> it's like you see a clown doing some of the most humiliating in the circus right of course you're gonna laugh but at the end of the day you're you're a clown bro oh no he's cooked <laughs> all right listen welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to the summer marathon yo listen bro if you're new here and you don't know we are on a marathon right now and what that means is all you're gonna get from me is some crazy consistent videos every day so if you watch this through and you actually enjoy it, bro, do not be a robot. Actually sub up and join us. And today we're taking a look at, oh God, this might be too crazy for the tube, man. I really hope not. But let me read you the title. It says this masked man in San Francisco went on live during a police chase and it ended like this. So with that being said, hey, listen, I'm about to get into this. But beforehand, let me say this because y'all know this platform can be very soft at times. I don't condone this behavior at all. And uh, no one was harmed or injured. We're only taking a look at this for educational and awareness purposes. With that being said, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's take a look at this, man. I have not seen this. Let's see. The thing that comes to my mind before even press and play on this is like, why would you ever go live when you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing? Like, that's literally collecting evidence against yourself, but let's see, bro. Free the guns, nigga! Free the guns! Of course. Three seconds in, this is the exact kind of person to do this. Uh, free the guys. I, <laughs> I swear to God, some people are just not meant to be here, bro. I, the IQ is missing, man. Uh, three seconds in, and I can already tell this is going to piss me off. Guys, nigga. 10 cops chasing me. Oh, my granny. Oh, my granny. It's 10 cops chasing me, nigga. Oh, my granny, nigga. Stop, bro. Stop. Stop. Granny's turning in her grave. Do not mention your grandma, bro. She, is she, what, is she? <laughs> I swear to God, man. I think my biggest fear is for my seed. God forbid. Like, imagine your seed, your kids, like your grandkids, your lineage, your bloodline ends up like this, bro. Who wouldn't be pissed off in their grave, man? Who wouldn't be turning? Imagine your grass. Imagine your seat, your blood, bro. Your lineage turns out to be like this: a dumbass dude with a shiesty on, putting him running away from the cops on his grandma and saying "free the guys." This is literally the most low IQ shit I have ever seen in my life, man. And on top of all of that, that's not even just what he's doing. He's literally live streaming this for no reason besides collecting evidence on himself right and i the the fame aspect of it the clout i told y'all people will literally i'm not exaggerating when i say this bro go through the channel people are literally willing to do the stupidest shit ever literally willing to put their life and others life at risk for clout and attention brother what am i watching bro I, just low iq that's literally the only thing i can say about this this is a very low iq individual bro a dumbass at that And look, you see everybody laughing at him. You got to understand that like <sighs> the internet, fame and clout is genuinely a disease. There's good aspects to it, but it's mostly a disease when people like this try to get a crumb of it, man. Because look at these comments. People are literally laughing at you. They're not laughing with you, bro. They're laughing at you. It's like you see a clown doing some of the most humiliating shit in the circus, right? Of course, you're going to laugh. And of course, you might even pay to watch it. You might even sit there, pay for a ticket to sit and watch the clown humiliate himself. But at the end of the day, you're you're a clown, bro. You are humiliating yourself for people who don't give a shit about you. You're on live 
giving the cops a precise location and a live stream which is 4k evidence while you're showing this to people who are literally laughing at you man i'm telling y'all some people are just <sighs> some people just should have been swallowed this is a prime example i, I can't believe what i'm watching Like, I can just look at his eyes and tell exactly what kind of person this is. Like, bro, do you realize you could have just played GTA? Just open, buy GTA. Go play GTA 5. You don't you don't need to do this shit in real life to experience the thrill, bro. Like, uh, why are you doing... I can't understand the reasoning behind this, y'all. I really can't. Like, unless... The only thing where... Actually, no, nothing can justify this. Because he's literally live streaming it. Now, if he wasn't live streaming it, I would understand. Not not understand, but it would be like a different story. But he's literally live streaming this shit. There's nothing in my mind that makes sense as to why besides him being a clout junkie retard. Seriously, man. Oh, no, he's cooked. Cooked. Hold on. Look. Look at the comments. Keep going. Don't stop. I'm telling y'all, bro. These people that you are willing to risk your life for, for their attention, the people that are gonna, the attention that you're literally willing to risk it all, humiliate yourself for, is the attention of morons and idiots who don't care about you bro who laugh at you man but in this case it's too late he can't even listen to what i'm saying because he's probably in jail for doing this but anyways let's see You're under Please don't hurt me. <laughs> hold on hey, I lost my bro was acting tough bro was acting like he wasn't scared as shit I mean, I don't know. He said, "Bit, bro. I don't know if that's a gang. I don't know what it is, bro. I'm not involved in this idiocity. But basically, point is, on live, before he got on the ground to get arrested, he was acting tough and acting cool and enjoying the thrill. But as soon as he gets caught, he's like, hey, don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. This is a prime example. Like, this is literally the definition of throwing yourself and throwing your life away for 15 minutes of fame i mean this wasn't 50 this is a minute of fame right because listen what's gonna happen now let's think about this logically yo let's use our brains let's use the iq that god gifted us <laughs> he now is going to go to jail he now is gonna have this shit on his record he now is gonna have a extremely hard time finding car insurance he basically threw his life away or not his whole life but he threw himself away bro for a minute of fame that he's never going to get again no one's ever gonna tune into your live stream ever again bro no one's gonna ever willingly think about your instagram or think about who you are ever again unless you do this dumbass shit again so my point is why do it in the first place by the way it did mention san francisco i know san francisco and la is like they're basically the hotbeds of like goblins bro uh, the amount of, and New York City, the amount of goblins and, and, and just, when I say goblins, I'm talking about these creatures, bro, these dumb ass human beings who do stupid stuff like this for no reason besides being a literal goblin. If you still live in San Francisco and LA, I mean, you can let me know if it's different, but I just don't see why you would ever want to live there, bro. Seriously, because these are the kinds of people that you have living around you. Please, for the love of God, bros, have some self-respect. I'm not even talking to y'all. I'm talking about just other idiots like this. Actually, they wouldn't probably, they probably would not be watching my video, so there's no point in even saying it. <laughs> but anyways, y'all can let me know what y'all think about this, bro. Listen, bro, I'm literally like you guys, right? When I open these videos up, y'all gotta understand I don't pre-watch these, right? So it, it brings me back to the reality of how other human beings act. Like when you, when you cut dumbass people off from your life, bro, and once you are like connected and, tr and being smart and like basically you're surrounded by intelligence, once you dive back into this world of complete stupidity it like it always shocks me man it really does like imagine being his dad imagine being his family bro <laughs> you see you see your dumbass you know son or brother or cousin on live doing this how how would you feel anyways y'all can let me know what y'all think about that i'm gonna go ahead and move on to our second video which speaking of new york city 
I, I told you it's three places LA, San Francisco, and New York City. They're literally Gotham cities in the States because we have people like this that live there, bro. This is a homeless man who pushed an innocent woman in front of a NYC train, which resulted in her death, gets heated in court after he's found to be fit to stand trial oh i want to see this hold on bro hold on new york city again of course it is <laughs> that was from march 27th second in the current 730 evaluation this incredibly unethical and by the way by the way this is one of those crimes where you can't even prepare for this bro like you really can't even prepare like you know how when somebody runs up at you with a gun or or or, or whatever not, you might be able to like do something about it right but if you're standing next to the train tracks and you're waiting for the train unless you're paying attention to the person that like my point is if he pushes you even if you're a full grown man even if you know how to fight even if you know how to defend yourself if anybody tries to push you into the train the train tracks strong like with enough force you're going to fall bro like you're going to fall in there so this is one of those crimes where you, he needs to be given true pure justice because this is a crime you can't even defend yourself from right like if, if somebody runs at you with a knife at least you might be able to put up a fight before you go right same thing with a gun at least you can try to do something but in this case what are you supposed to do you're cooked you're done hey may god have mercy on her soul and i really hope we get to see justice in this clip man hold on unethical i repeat unethical sentence appears <laughs> whereby the doctors at Kirby uh. advises Mr. Simon to hide his delusional symptoms quote additionally his treatment team has counseled him about controlling when and with whom he should share his delusions e.g. not during forensic evaluations or in court I'll give you a for that one. finally I'll give you a yeah bro the act is not fooling nobody let me be a judge oh my god bro let me be nah i told y'all these kinds of individuals have two spots actually three i'm gonna add a third one right three spots where they need to be sent to where true justice will be served by the bros in these spots number one north korea number two afghanistan number three yemen any of those places send these sick there and watch what happens they won't be given clothes and sat in a, a nice chair in a nice courtroom and and, and talk to nicely and asked if they're insane or not or if they could i don't know be tr given trial and they could go to jail for a light nah bro it would be an immediate effective true pure form of justice that's all i'm gonna say because imagine having to sit and put up with this kind of idiot after he just took an innocent lady's life for no reason hold on I'll give you a Finally, okay. Judge, from the Rikers records, since he's been back, so we're talking about the last week or so, noted symptoms, grossly delusional, specifically paranoid, speech incoherent, thought process illogical, he was found with impaired understanding of his legal case, and yet the people moved to confirm. Judge, I'm asking for a consent adjournment till May 28th for us to have an opportunity to have our doctor examine my client. Application is granted May 28th. Same bail conditions. Take charge, please. Uh, your, your Honor. Your Honor, I would like to address the court, cooked, please. Buddy. Your Honor, no, Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor, can I address the court for yeah, one minute? Me. For one minute. Cooked. Who are you, motherfuckers? We got it. I don't hate you. Who are you, motherfuckers? We got it. I don't hate you. I'm your Western man. What? What the hell did he just say? All of you are messing with God in Haiti? Huh? I mean, bro, your act to look, to try to look insane is not working, bro. You are, and even if the person is insane, like, I mean, y'all can let me know in the comments, like, what's, are they not supposed to get justice for what they did? Like, if an insane person ends an, a random innocent lady who had an entire future, life, family, all of that, he ended her for no reason. Are they, just because they're insane, they're not supposed to face justice? It, what? <laughs> God, I don't hate you. I'm your man. Yeah, he said mess with God in Haiti. I wish I don't know what he said, bro. <sighs> hey, all I'm gonna say is this kind of individual had the energy and the brain cells and wasn't mentally insane when he was begging people for money. But once he ends a random girl 
a random lady literally just ends her life on purpose. He has to be a vet. I mean, I don't know, bro. Y'all can let me know what y'all think about this. In all seriousness, though, may God have mercy on her soul. And if you live in one of these places, if you actually, if you live in this, if you live in this world in general, I can't even like, you know how there's other places where like it's really bad and places where it's really not bad. Dog, you never know what fate has planned for you you never know what god has planned for you right and i say that to say like live every day like it's your last or at least try to and try your best to always be aware of your surroundings don't go outside with headphones on bro and if you if you really want to listen to something have one one ear open pay attention to the people walking behind you next to you and even then you might at the end of the day it's fate bro but still in my opinion these kinds of individuals the 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 scum of the earth who do shit like this need to be sent to three lovely places that i mentioned but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what y'all think about these videos seriously this was a crazy crazy good video yeah i I will be reading the comments by the way so let me know in the comments and hey the summer marathon continues if you're new here and you made it to this point that means you enjoyed the video bro sub up and join us everybody else will run the likes up let's see how many likes we can get on this i appreciate y'all for being here take care of yourself stay safe man and i'll see y'all in the next one peace out